today of Spain as being a Christian country, but it's only been Christian for 500 years. It was Muslim for over 800 years. Today on Speaking of Spain with the Caspacho Monk, we ask, why did Spain go spicy? Many people talk erroneously of the invasion of Spain. It was erroneous for two reasons. The first, that the concept of Spain as a nation would not happen for at least another thousand years. And secondly, it was hardly an invasion. The Berbers and Arabs walked from Gibraltar to the Pyrenees and were welcomed wherever they came. Once the Romans had left, the country was governed by the Visigoths, who sort of built churches, introduced curvy windows and grew beards, but not a lot else. So the country was ready for a reboot and an update. And what an update that turned out to be. By the 10th century, Al-Andalus covered four-fifths of modern Spain. While cities like London wallowed in mud and sewage, cities like Cordoba became the most populated city in the world and the intellectual centre of Europe. Cordoba had 3,000 mosques, 300 public baths, street lights and running water, and the largest library in the world. Everything has its time and everything dies, said Doctor Who and internal conflicts would split the Berbers and the Moors and with the help of the mercenary armies the Catholic kings and queens pushed further and further south eventually surrounding the one last Muslim kingdom in Europe, Granada. Now, the last sultan of Granada was called Bobadil and he was married to this woman Her name was Moraima, and she married Bobadil when she was just 15 years old. Daughter of Ali Attar, the warden of Lochar, and someone we shall meet again in the next video. She lived a miserable life, separated from her husband, her children taken from her, and she was locked up in a house in the city until the Christians took Granada and she was exiled to the mountain villages of the Alpujarras, where she would die just a year later. It was a sad page in the history of this town. Moraima would suffer throughout her entire life. Look at the poor lass. She cannot even look out onto the world. But these things happen. Wars, conquests, exile especially when you happen to be the last sultaness of the Nasrid line. But like the seasons, the planets and donuts, things move in circles. One day your Roman doorway is nice and square, the next day it's gone all curvy and visigothy. Then comes the Arabs and it changes again into a keyhole shape. Tomorrow, who knows what shape our doors will be. And as for society, well, Democracy is not the only form of social organisation we will ever know. And let's face it, the market economy has hardly proven itself to be a robust and egalitarian system in recent years. Change is forever in the air, thankfully. In the next episode of Speaking of Spain with the Gaspacho Monk, we look at the final days of the Islamic Empire in Spain. And we look at one man in particular, the father-in-law of Moraima, the great warrior and the spice merchant extraordinaire, Ali Attar. Yo, say cheese, Mr.